Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. A pleasant good night to each and every one of you. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Happy 4th of December. I wish everybody a safe, happy and blessed month of December. Starting the month of December, I will be sharing a recipe with you guys for black cake, non-alcohol version. If you wanna see how I'm doing this recipe, come on down and let's get started. So for our sorrel black cake today, and this is the non-alcohol version for kids and for all those who don't consume alcohol, I have a pack of sun-dried sorrel. I'm gonna wash these to get out all the impurities and I'm going to boil the entire pack of sorrel to extract all the nice flavorful juice from the sorrel and then I will show you how we put this beautiful black cake or Christmas cake together. So my water is hot and the next step I'm going to do is put two pieces of dried orange peel. I'm gonna add a few pieces of cinnamon stick and I'm gonna add the sorrel that I just washed into the pot. I'm not adding any more spices because we don't want to change the flavor of the cake but I will add a tablespoon of brown sugar while it's boiling. This is gonna add a nice flavor to the liquid when it's done okay guys so let's check our sorrel and it is looking very very nice i can see really really dark red in color i'm gonna drain out all the pulp and we're gonna start working with the liquid so i'm gonna start weighing my fruits now for the cake and here i'm gonna be using some pitted prunes and that's the one without the pits. I'm gonna measure about half a cup and this will give a nice texture and flavor to the cake and I have here some pitted dates as well the ones without the pit and I'm gonna weigh another half a pound of this what I like about this black cake, you can add any fruits of your choice to the cake. Plus, you can add any amount of fruits, depends on how heavy or how light you like your black cake to be. So in the same pot that I was boiling the sorrel, I'm gonna add those fruits, right? And then I'm gonna add about two cups of the hot sorrel. That's gonna soften the fruits and make it very easy to work with. And they're gonna become plump and nice and soft. I'm also gonna be using one pound of raisins today. So we have three sets of dried fruits, which is the prunes, dates, and raisins to make our black cake. So I'm gonna add the one pound of raisin right into the hot sorrel, and then I'm gonna start my stove again. And we're just gonna steam, steam the fruits until they become nice and soft. I'm gonna add some more sorrel in here. And I'm gonna strain it before adding it back to the pot. And that's a good amount because we will need some to blend this fruit as well. This will be my sorrel version of black cake, non-alcohol. There's a lot more of cake recipe coming up for the holidays, but I just thought I'm gonna start baking one by one since tomorrow is the first day of December. So I just finished steaming the fruits 
and I cooled it down a little. Now it's really, really moist and soft with some sorrel in the bottom. We're gonna use that liquid to roughly blend this up. You can make it to a smooth puree or if you like your cake chunky, you can make it blend it to a chunkier um, consistency. So I'm gonna put this in my food processor and I'm gonna blend it up a little. So I fill up about halfway in the food processor with the fruits and you can see how nice and plump they are. They really smell nice with the sorrel. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of sorrel to blend it up and we're gonna roughly blend this. So I'm pulsing it so that we don't get it too smooth because this one, we're gonna make it a chunkier version. So that's our fruits puree. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna bake this cake right away. I'm gonna soak this with some more sorrel, but let me just clean up my mixer first. So this is our fruits and it's looking nice and moist, but because I'm leaving it overnight in the sorrel, I wanna add some more of the sorrel, about a half a cup. And we're gonna let this sit overnight in the sorrel. It smells really, really good. I have a, a wine version of the black cake that's really smooth and not chunky if you like the black cake to be in a smoother texture. I do have a version on my channel. Tonight's recipe is gonna be the non-alcohol sorrel black cake or fruit cake for Christmas. So tomorrow we're gonna come back to this when we're putting the entire black cake or Christmas cake together. I'm gonna start greasing my two pans for the cake. Little bit of butter. I'm gonna brush the bottom of the pan. and the sides. After brushing the pans with butter, I like to put a little bit of flour and then just shake it around in the middle and on the edges because this will help the cake not to stick to the pan and easy to remove after finish baking it. So once you grease your pan like this, this step is not necessary, but I'm just doing it for the black cake, just in case if it burn a little on the bottom, this is gonna prevent your cake from getting that dark brown crust on the bottom. So we're safe, very, very safe here for the black cake. So the fun stuff begins. I am making a half a pound of black cake. So I am weighing all the ingredients before I add it to my mixer. I am adding half a pound of butter, room temperature. So next we're gonna measure our sugar. And when I'm making Christmas cake or black cake, I like to use brown sugar because it adds the extra color to the cake. So we have half a pound of brown sugar. Now we're gonna start mixing our butter and sugar together on, to make it nice and fluffy and until all the sugar crystals are melted. So remember every once in a while, to clean the edges of the bowl for all those sugar crystals that's on the sides can get mixed in with the butter. So I have six eggs to add to this cake and in the when I break the eggs, 
Usually they have this little white embryo on the eggs. I like to take those out. I already took the rest out, but I just want to show what what I'm doing and the reason why I'm doing it. Because when you lift this into the cake, it tends to have a very eggy, eggy taste, which is not very nice. So I took all the rest out. I'm gonna zest one lemon into the eggs. If you don't have lemon, lime can work as well. Or long time ago, we used to add orange peel dried orange peel and just beat it with the eggs and it will cut out any egg flavor or that rich raw egg flavor so i'm going to finish grating the zest of one lemon and then i will start mixing the eggs so remember when you're zesting the lemon Make sure that it's only the yellow part you're getting into the eggs, not the white underneath the yellow, because that will make the eggs bitter. So now I'm gonna mix this in. And the lemon zest smells so nice in here. And I'm gonna add little by little into my cake batter, and that will help to melt the sugar crystals a little bit faster. I'm gonna add a little bit of that egg into about like one egg into the mixture and we will start mixing again. So I'm adding the last sets of eggs. While I was mixing, I was adding eggs little by little, and that helps to break down the sugar crystals. Now I'm gonna add along with the um, eggs, I'm gonna add some mixed essence. Any essence will do, but I'm adding this non-alcohol this cake is a non-alcohol cake so i'm adding that mixed essence alcohol free and this is um a brand from guyana just about a teaspoon So in our flour, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm measuring my flour again. It's very important when we're baking to have the right measurement and then we'll get a beautiful turn out. So I have here half a pound of flour. So all my measurement is consistent. Now we're going to sift the flour and baking powder. We want to mix it up a little. And then we're going to add it to our strainer here. And we're going to sift the flour into the batter. for any impurities and this will make the cake a little bit on the light fluffy side. So all of it is in. This was a nice clean half pound of flour. So now I'm gonna take my time and fold this in. Now that we finish adding our flour and baking powder to the egg batter, look at our fruits that we prepared yesterday. 
the sorrel fruits and this smells amazing I taste a little bit tastes so delicious and moist so I'm gonna add this now to our batter in goes all that goodness and this is gonna be a black cake or Christmas cake the chunkier version if you don't like it chunky I do have a smoother version on my channel I'm gonna add here now let's mix this first so we're mixing in our batter with all the beautiful fruits and you can get that sorrel smell right in your nose as I'm turning it here so we're gonna nicely fold in the fruits and the batter and now I'm gonna add some nutmeg here a nice teaspoon of great freshly grated nutmeg Mm, this smells amazing so looking at it the nutmeg I can tell that this is enough right here yep yeah. and we will add our brown in as well so the browning that I'm using is the Carmel Browning, the Chief brand. And I like to mix a little bit of this one. So I'm gonna put about a quarter of a teaspoon. I will leave all the measurements in the description below if I miss any. And I like to add some gravy, Mr. Gouda's gravy browning. And this is also good for meat and right at the bottom here it says for cakes as well so i'm gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon and this is very very highly concentrated so a little bit goes a long way you don't have to add both if you have one that will do the job as well so as you mix you will be able to tell if the cake is dark enough for you. And if it's not, then you can add a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my time and mix in what I just added. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the gravy brown and just a little pinch more. Just about that and this will be the right color for me here so now I finish mixing in everything and my mom and grandma always taught me that when you want to know if the mixture is done well stick the spoon in the middle and if it stays like that you know it's a perfect batter so mine is standing still and I know my grandma and my mom is going to be very proud of me. So now I'm going to start putting them into the baking dish and we will start with this one here. And we just want to go about half way of the pan. I have nine and a half inches pan here we're just gonna shake it around and pat pat it down for any ear bubble and then we're gonna fill the other one same thing halfway and those who remember fighting when they were younger to get the spoon and the, the bowl that the cake was mixing in that used to be a thing for us 
So it looks like I'm gonna have more than two pans and I already have an extra grease pan on hand waiting here and I'm gonna add the rest of that mixture into this loaf pan. So out of this half a pound of black cake with the two pounds of fruits, we're gonna get three nice size of cake and that will be our non-alcohol cake, Christmas cake, black cake for the kids and all those who are not consuming alcohol. So same thing. And we're gonna cook these in a 300 degree oven so they can cook slowly. After an hour and 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven, my cakes are done. Really, really nice to perfection. If you're not sure when the cakes are done, please stick a toothpick into the cake and if it comes out clean you will know that the cake is done i can tell this one is done because the edges are just releasing from the baking pan i'm gonna let it cool down for about eight to ten minutes before i take them out of the pan and we're gonna soak these up some more with the sorrel juice and we're gonna be cutting this cake soon to reveal the inside and the flavor so now while the cake is still hot we're gonna just empty it out from the pan oops right out it fell and this one is cooked to perfection so I'm gonna um, leave it to cool down some more while it's cooling I'm gonna add some more of the sorrel juice just to soak in and have that beautiful flavor. So here are the cakes, the sorrel cakes, and this is the little bit extra that I had. This one here, all of them are done so perfectly well. And they're very, very hot at the moment. For all my friends who were thinking about having black cake or Christmas cake and they didn't want to add any alcohol this is an alcohol free one I'm using sorrel as the liquid fruity kind of wine flavor so now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the sorrel to soak into the cake while the cakes are still hot and then I'll give it a few more minutes until it's completely cold before I cut the cake so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the sorrel because this cake had a lot, the fruits had a lot of sorrel in, in the um, cake. And as the cake, as the days go by, I'm gonna keep soaking them, so not a lot. Same thing I'm gonna do for this one. Just a little bit for now. And the same thing with this one. But before the night is over, I'm going to cut one of these and let you guys know how they were done and what flavor they have. So if you look over here, the sorrel is already soaked in. And that's what we like when you add the sorrel to the hot cake. So it is time for us to reveal how the cake tastes and how it looks from the inside. It looks like a piece is telling me right here where to start cutting it from. And I'm gonna go in, it's still a bit warm, but my kids are really, really begging me to cut this cake tonight. Usually I like to cut it when it's really cold and all that goodness is mixed in and mellow in well so i'm gonna get a piece right here and look at that baby right there super moist and super soft i'm gonna put this in my plate oh my god jess 
and that's just the perfect slice right that our sorrel cake it's amazing look at that very nice and moist so here is that beautiful looking sorrel cake non-alcohol version it is so moist looking so good with all that rich flavor in there now i'm gonna dig in for my bite and just i uh, just wanted to do a close-up when i'm cutting this cake because this cake is so moist look at that so rich the scent of black cake or christmas cake is a smell that when you if you're far away and you get that smell you'll know exactly what it is so cheers to all my viewers and all my subscribers mm -mm -mm. oh my god the flavor the cake is so soft it's so rich you can taste those fruits you can taste that sorrel is coming through it's just a beautiful combination of christmas feeling i am just happy and i know that tasting this cake christmas is coming very soon so another bite so delicious if you guys like this recipe please give me a thumbs up you can still make christmas cake still make black cake without alcohol if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet i hope you will consider subscribing until then i want to say stay blessed stay safe love you guys bye for now